Hey, good morning guys, how are ya? Let me just spin this around so you can see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Twice away. Look at that, Daryl, how you going, mate? <laughs> uh, what are we? What are we? Thurs Thursday? Thursday, not working. Thursday, not working. For all those that aren't working on Thursday, fucking awesome. Good on you. Hope you're having a piss. <laughs> uh, let me get some killing gear. There <clears throat> right, you go. So, um, get out, mate. You're not eating it. Crayfish dip from from low to go. Crayfish dip, easy start. I'll just drop that down a bit so you can see me. And so me melons fucking looking good. Um, this is how simple this is. Good day, Helen. How are you? A nice day there. Beautiful. I wish I was there with you. Tazzy's awesome. Trev, what's happening, mate? How's things? I'm all right. Um, it's coffee for anyone that asks. It's coffee. Nothing in it. No rum. <laughs> All right, it's too early. I'm not on the piers. Uh, crayfish dip. I've got to show you this one because it's easy. Lobster. It's actually Western Rock lobster, right? And if you see the reel previously on this, um, I just cooked up a couple last night because I made a burger for dinner. I've got some left over. I'm going to have a few beers tonight with some boys. I sort of whip up a real quick dip. <laughs> Darren, fair enough, mate. Um, so what I'm going to need. A little bit of a little bit of equipment to go with it. Potato masher. Uh, you need a bowl. And this is pretty. This is the basic one, right? I'm going to show people that have just joined my page that don't know how to, I can cook anything. Declan, how you going, my friend? How are you? I've got to catch up with you, my mate. Uh, awesome. Okay. So I'll run through the whole recipe. Um, buckle up. Let's go. Let's get into it. You need a bowl. Um, there's probably, I don't know, 100 grams, 150 grams of crayfish there, just a little tiny bit really, left over. So that's, um, that's from last night. It's already cooked. Uh, you need some cream cheese, a little block of cream cheese, I think they're, that must be like 100 grams, I think. Okay, what I want to do is just warm that, or, or just make sure it's at room temperature. This is a little bit cold. This one, but it's okay, I'll work with it. So we'll get a little knife. Oh yeah, I'll put my... Little knife. Make sure that one's sharp too, give that a tickle. Not that I need that just yet, so there we go. Best you can, cream cheese, straight in the bowl, beauty. Oh, there you go, cream cheese is done. Awesome, mate. Um, <laughs> funny you say that, Saturday, mate, I take off for a um, hunting trip of a lifetime. Um, I'm, I'm heading up to uh, Northern Territories for a month's buff hunt, so... Uh, and camel and pigs and donkeys and barra and uh, all sorts. So, and keep watching. I'll keep you posted. Awesome. Let's get rid of that. Beauty done. Okay. So there we go. Um. Now into that. Into that cream cheese. And it's kind of important that you use this step first because you want to get this cream cheese into a little bit of a sloppy, shitty mess before you start adding anything else to it because you'll end up smashing up the crayfish too much and you won't really be able to tell. So I'm going to try and bulk it up a little bit with an extra bit of sauce and stuff, but I usually put about, um, I don't know, two tablespoons maybe? Two tablespoons of um, whole egg mayonnaise into it on top of it.
To that, I'll add a couple of tablespoons of um, tomato sauce. And you can, this is um, to everyone's taste. If you, want to, if you don't want to put that much in, don't. Give it a shake up. And a um, few, I don't know, it's probably two, to, uh, two teaspoons there of Worcestershire. And I usually put um, Tabasco sauce in. Tabasco's got that little bit of a, um, that lighter flavour than uh, just a sriracha. So, but I'm going to use that sriracha today because so, I've run out of um, Tabasco. So, maybe a tablespoon, depending on how spicy you like it. Let's put probably a tablespoon in there, the sriracha. Now, what I want to do is try and mix that. Just incorporate that sauce into that cream cheese and just mix it up. And I found it, um, it's good to do it with a potato masher. <laughs> Mullet for good thanks mate, eh? the absolute champion. Oh, mate, you're hungry too, bud. Fuck yeah. So this is just, um, this is a really, really good recipe. If you go out, uh, say, crayfishing or, you can do this with crab as well. I've done it with salmon, with fish. Um, smoked salmon, made a dip out of that. If you look previously through the page. So there you go, just kind of, it's kind of rough mashed at the moment. Get all that cream cheese out of there in between the mash and now here's the important part. Some of that um, crayfish meat or whatever you call it, lobster for those that are technical fucking challenge and you want to try and cut this up fairly fine. Because you don't want really, really you don't want to pick up a biscuit and get a really big chunk of fucking lobster in it. You know, you gotta have it nice and fine. So you spread it out, you're trying to make it go through all this cream cheese. So just give it a really good chop. But what you don't want to do is over mash it into that because you'll just break it down so much that it'll still have the taste but it won't have the texture. It'll just be a smooth. And, and that's why I don't use a blender in it too because it really stuffs it up. You blend it too much, you blend it into a paste. And it's not a paste, it's a dip. You want to have the little chunks in there, you want to be able to taste it. You want that spice. Chop it up kind of nice and fine. There we go. Look at that. So straight in with your crane meat on top of there. Done. Just get it all in there. You don't want to waste any of that. It's fucking awesome. There we go. Clean it all up. Beauty. Right, wash my hands. So there we have it so far. There's the, the lobster straight in on top. And um, that sauce, cream cheese. We're gonna start to combine them now. But what I wanna to add to that is get a dirty old stalk of spring onion, just pull that. Gonna trim that up to the shit. You want a nice kind of half decent. There we go. Cool. Throw that in the bin. Now, what I want to do now is just change that, take that potato masher out, just scrape all that shit off it. We can come back and do that later on. We'll clean that up a bit. And I'll just change it to a fork. I'm going to go through and start mixing that crayfish into the dip. You can see it's fairly dry in that sense, right? So it's fairly, you know, if you pick that up with a biscuit, you probably snap the biscuit. What you can do to make it a little bit wetter, tiny bit more mayo into it. 
You know, you say, right, yeah, well, I like the taste of whooshy sauce. We'll throw a little tiny bit of that in there as well, just to get those, um, there you go, just to wet it a bit. That's better, that's heaps better. So it's more of a dip now. You can even add a little bit of, um, if you wanted to do it with sour cream, put half a cup of sour cream in it or some, um, just some whole cream. You could even put a little bit of whole cream in there and that would mix it up quite nice. And it tastes quite nice too, nice and creamy. So, we're gonna finish it with spring onion, something, it's got that red color in it, so something green to go on top of that red, it'll make it pop. And it gives it that nice little oniony flavor too. Uh, you could chop up, if you really didn't want onion in it, you could chop up some green chili, put a green chili in it. That would be uh, kind of nice. You wouldn't have to put that hot sauce in, I don't suppose. And make sure you just chop them up nice and fine too. You don't want too big bits of onion in it. But you're doing it fairly chunky, you know. And I've just put that one big stalk in there. There we go. So how long did that take me? That was only a couple of minutes. Probably, I don't know, I haven't looked at it, there's no timer on, the, on here, but I'll have to have a look later on. It's probably only 10 minutes worth of work, and you've done a crayfish dip. And that is so easy. Absolutely so easy, look at that. Just mix that around, get that onion in there. Make sure it's well combined, you know, you want that lobster in there too. Give it a good mix up. It doesn't matter if there's a little bit of that cream cheese, it still hasn't mixed through. That's fine. But it's nice and pink, it's got that lovely, um, that lovely look to it. That's good, it's got a little bit of green coming through. Have a taste. Oh yeah man, that's fucking cool. That is cool. There we go, lobster dip. And I'll get it all done for you. Oh, I'm sure I've got a container here somewhere. Nah, I've got to eat them yeah, that's cool. Oh, it's nice and spicy, those flavours that come, come through it when it sits in the fridge there for a little bit, gets nice and cool, those flavours will all develop in it. So I'm just going to um, put it in a little couple of little containers, take to my mates. There you go, get one of these out. And there it is, how's that? That wasn't that hard, eh? G'day Mike, how you going buddy? What's going on? So I'm just going to smack out, look at this, smack out a fucking crayfish dip. Um, a little takeaway container, a little dip container there. So out of one crayfish and one block of cheese, we've made, I reckon, two, two dips. There you go, smack it in there. There's enough there for me. Just to give it a whirl. Hold on, let's get all that happening. Look at that. So there we go. Crayfish dip. That simple. That's how easy it is. Oh man. Fuck yeah. Wicked. A little bit there for me. Sorry, buddy, you'll get nothing. Dog's peeking. So there you go, guys. That's how good it is. <laughs> Declan, awesome, mate. Thanks, man. Good day, Henry. How you going? So there you are. Crayfish dip. Off. The, it goes really well. A few beers, some nice crackers with it, and um, the boys will chow into that today. And we'll get on it. I've got a heap more coming up. But, um, if you're watching, if you follow the page, if you don't follow it, um, make sure you follow this blog because I've got. 
a full month, I'm going to do a, um, a daily blog here when I go for a hunt, and I'll take you all through hunting, um, hunting buffalo or what we're doing. I've also got a really mint uh, podcast coming up as well. Thanks, Joe. Cheers, mate. And um, we've got a podcast coming up. So um, keep following. I've got some really good stuff uh, heading your way, guys. Thanks, Dylan. Cheers, man. If, uh, if you're closer, I'd give you one, mate. Awesome, guys. Thanks. Have a really good day. And uh, I've got a few more lives coming up today. Uh, probably prosciutto, either today or tomorrow. I'll hang that up. Got heaps going on. Thanks, guys. All the best. Hey, cheers.